Honeycomb Brazy was good. Man, you already know, man. I was at Bullet, man. Ain't no how rocking. What's good? Man, you all over the internet right now, man. Every blog I go to, every motherfucking website, on YouTube, all the bloggers talking about you, man. How does it feel to be home? Hey, it feel good to be home, though. You know, I've been locked up forever, goddamn. I'm back now, though, man. I'm popping shit, though. I'm popping shit like five crowd on God. And how long have you been home for? Shit, about like, I came home November 5th. What the day or not? It's the 21st. Oh, so, shit. What the day that? Goddamn, 16 days. So you've been home for two weeks and all this shit happening already. What you say? <laughs> two weeks, man, and you all over all over the blogs, man. Shit brazen. It brazen like that. <laughs> so let, let me get to the viral shit right now before we get to who you really who 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 your your life story. So one day you're in Mobile, Alabama, and you're wearing a Kobe Bryant jersey or you're buying a Kobe jersey. Take us through that day. Nah, that was in that was in Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, take us through that day. <laughs> Shit, that day that it went really now. Nice. We we really slept that whole day. We woke up and we know we hit the mall. Everybody went and got haircuts and shit. We about to get ready to dip out for real. Everybody just getting together, you know. That little shit had popped off. That little shit popped off. Nigga spent, you know, and we got right, you know. Yeah. Okay. So you're on IG live, um, you know, just doing your thing, enjoying your life. And are you buying a jersey or? No, I've I been bought the jersey away from, a, I bought the jersey from Mississippi. Uh -huh. And when I got to Montgomery, I picked that bitch on, that bitch was too big. So I had to go to Montgomery Mall, I had got another jersey. And I was finna get that jersey away to anybody who, who can fit that bitch. Okay. And how long were you posted at that spot? Shit, like... About an hour and a half. You were on live, posted at that spot for an hour. No, nah, I went on live an hour. We were getting our haircut. The whole game we were getting a haircut. So we were there about an hour and a half. But I went live probably like 10 minutes, some shit like that. Man. And, you know, I, I, I could tell you was just vibing. And then you look up and you 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 see the motherfucker who was, who was, who was about to let it off. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see the gun. I ain't see him. Man, what's going through your mind when, when that shit's happening? Shit, you know, I'd have been shot eight times before. I already got shot in the head. So, you know, you know what was going through my mind, goddamn. Yeah, yeah. Man, that shit crazy. And you were only out, what, like a few days? I was probably out like a, about eight days. Oh, man. Man. And, and how many how many shots you feel like were, were, were came your way that day? Not that man, not too man. Okay. You know my nigga, my young nigga, my young nigga with that shit. You know they ain't gonna let it go down like that. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're okay. You know, because a lot of people were concerned um, about that situation. You know, this year's been crazy. You know. Yeah, hell yeah, anything goes twenty twenty. So now that you know better with the IG live shit, you gonna move more carefully with the with the with the Instagram shit. Nah, I'm still gonna do me, you know. I ain't never been on internet ass niggas. You know, I've been locked up forever for real. So shit. I don't even know how to work that shit for real. Well, you you know, it's a dangerous game plan with the IG Live, man, because all people gotta see is the background location and they trying to pull up. You know, people are doing anything for clout. Yeah, you're right about that. You're right about that. I, I do need to chill out with that. I do need to do that because you know it real, it real smoke. Yeah, it's some real, it's most shit going on. And you weren't in your hometown, right? Because you're from Mobile? Yeah, I'm from Mobile, Alabama. So in Montgomery, it's the it's still the same thing? People still want to see you do bad in, in Montgomery too? Nah, I fought with the gun, you know? Long little Dobie. Yeah, I fought with the gun hard. I, you know, I've been fucking with the gun way before they rap shit. It's just, you know, it's slime niggas everywhere. You know, you got some fucked up niggas everywhere though. Right, right. Yeah, that shit like two hours away from us. So, so you know, it ain't nothing to get in touch with no nigga. Man, so you pretty much immune to getting in shootouts. Like that shit didn't really phase you. Didn't, you didn't think about it. You a funny ass nigga say. Hell yeah. But yeah, hell yeah, nigga used to that shit for real though. 
That shit brazen, but y'all, they can use of that shit. Yeah, yeah I, I wasn't trying to be funny, you know, but based off, you know, your IG lives and shit, the shit that I watch and the music videos and stuff and the things you've been through, it seems like it didn't phase you too much because a lot of people get in shootouts and they, they don't really like to talk about it. You yourself, you're really vocal about that. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, for real. I don't give a fuck. I ain't never gave a fuck, say. You know, I just don't. I don't know why I just don't. My mama retarded. My dad retarded. My grandma retarded. I'm retarded, you know. You know how that shit is. Most definitely. Now, it's another shootout that went viral today. Um... With, it was a few of your homies. It was a white car. Was that was that recent? No, that was the same shit. That was the same shit. <clears throat> okay, that, that was the same shooting. Yeah, they y'all just see when I was getting hit at on live. That was the, that was them when they was shooting back. That was all the shot, you know. That was it. Okay, okay. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense, man. That that shit's crazy. Who's giving? I, I mean, are you going? Like, is this? Where's the surveillance? Like, is it the store owners and shit like that? I don't know. I don't know. That shit just popped up on Facebook. I seen that. I don't even know who goddamn had it. I don't even know who had that shit. 